Shalom, uh, Havas LA, and whoever you're listening. This is Dr. Scott. Uh, Today is uh, January 26, 2021. Uh, we will be reading um, God's work in Matthew uh, chapter 6, uh, verse 25 to 34. The continuing of uh, Jesus' famous sermon, so-called Sermon on the Mount. Now, this is... Uh, title actually has a has a title that says do not worry so there's only uh, nine verses uh, I'm reading out of the NIV therefore I tell you do not worry about your life what you will eat or drink or about your body what you will wear is not life more than food and the body more than the clothes look at the birds of the air they do not sow or reap or store away in barns and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by morning at a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is there today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire. Will he not much more close you, you of little faith? Do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. I'm so grateful uh, that I'm actually reading this and uh, present, presenting this morning uh, devotional video. Why? Because these little things uh, tell us you that God is truly in our life, it's in my life. Out of all these verses, out of all these people that we have been assigned to do this, and this happened to be my day. And it is these kind of little things that show God is in your life to the most detail. This phrase, this verses, is one of my most important scripture that I have been using and it has been guiding my life from the beginning when I when I uh, became a believer and today here I'm presenting this rereading this re-reflecting this in a morning devotion after all these many years and here is God's uh, instruction for life he knows we have to live we have to eat, we have to drink, we have to wear clothes and all that. But he's reminding us, Jesus, the Lord of Master, Lord of the Universe says, don't worry. I mean, it's not that like we don't have to work. It's just don't worry because God will take care of you. You know, there are so many choices today we have, we're facing in terms of decision making, what to do, what yeah, even among clothes, there are even more choices among clothes. Of course, this is not about what clothes to wear, but worry about do you have clothes to wear or not. I remember I was just about a year, uh, became a believer, and I was finishing my residency and facing uh, choices of, of locating a new job and starting a medical practice. There are many choices from many places. In retrospect, if I look back, if I had chosen uh, California then, I most likely would have made much more money. But at that time, this verse, yeah, see his kingdom and his righteousness and all will be given out to you, was just so convicting in my heart and it has guided my decision then and I, and I chose a, a practice that uh, taking care uh, much 
less um, affluent populations and also pay probably just about one third of the prevailing practice. Nobody wants to go in a sense. The reason I chose it because it has a much better schedule the way it is structured. Because at that time, what that was mean, his righteousness and his kingdom to me was just close to church. That is all. I was just baptized and I want to be as close as possible to, to the church and I wanted to serve in that church. And God has blessed me from uh, there. I actually went now, uh, established a church and also uh, formulate and start a um, youth and young people's ministry. And I, it was the greatest comfort in my life to see that many young people has been blessed and give their life to Christ through that ministry. And when I moved to uh, California, it was the same kind of issue. I faced another decision and I chose the same. I chose to Ventura, uh, seeing patients, mostly Medicare, Medicaid. And as you know, these are, again, uh, low paying, uh, much less low paying um, position than others. But because I moved to Ventura, somehow there I got connected and I, I became a, uh, a, a medical missionary to many parts of the world. The experiences of seeing God work in the rest, how God work in the world, and that kind of a, a, a experience is not money can buy. And I, uh, I just want to, to um, praise the Lord for that His Word is true and real. And his word is faithful. And uh, here is a, his fundamental guideline here. Of course, what does it mean? Uh, seek his kingdom and his righteousness. His kingdom means there is a king and there is a rule of kingdom. And we just need to do that first every day. Seek him first. Seek his rule first. If you cannot see the kingdom as he says, praise to the Lord. Open your eyes that you can see his kingdom. Uh, in each stage of our life, that in practicality, in applying to our life, it's not the same completely. Then and now, his kingdom and his righteousness has a different shade and different degree uh, and a different variety of understanding as you grow as you grow in your life and your journey, and you will find that out. But just seek His kingdom as that basic fundamental principle. I can here testify to you, God's word is true and real, and He is faithful. As to what is His righteousness, His righteousness is His rule of how we live, and it's all in that books. Father, I just praise you and thank you for your word is truth and real and worthy and is worthy of all men's trust. And I uh, put all these words before those who ever listen today. May you bless them the way you have blessed me and more than, more than they can imagine. In your son's holy name we ask. Amen. Have a godly day. Bless you.